you guys, it's coming back and it's coming back with a vengeance right now. We've got a sleet and snow mixture. It's January 22nd, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake. I mean, this is just absolutely epic. This is absolutely epic. It is so pretty. And we're gonna drive to the snowiest part of our beautiful town. Yeah, seriously, this is just absolutely beautiful. It just switched from rain to snow. I, I'm, yeah, from, from rain to snow. Or not snow, but sleet with a snow mixture. These streets are white literally in five to six minutes. That's how fast and strong it's been coming down. It is a little bit, I can tell, a little bit slick out here, but you just gotta be careful of all the other drivers, guys. Make sure you're comfortable with being up here, of course, and then just always watch out for other drivers. This is one of the best times of day to be recording with these iPhones. Wow, just awesome. Just incredible. I really can't believe how fast things turned white. So anyway, you guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hope those of you who've been checking in on the live feed are enjoying it. I've had a lot of fun chatting with you guys on and off all day. It's been an awful lot of fun. And uh, don't forget to get your merch and support the brand and support the channel. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get your fresh made merch. And again, support the brand. I appreciate it very much. I know when she'll wipe her. I know, buddy. We're gonna see. I thought that would have some impact. I'm I'm gonna do that rain X thing that you guys were suggesting. I just gotta find it once I get back home and then apply it. A bunch of people said to put a little bit of, of, of rubbing alcohol in it and then wipe it on like a like a coat of wax. So that's what I am going to do. Some of these sleep pellets are monsters. You guys can hear it, right? And see it bouncing off the hood. Hang on, guys.
then again, my my buddy Augie works at this new new pizza place called Kama Pizza right here on the corner of Blue Jay. It's right here, right there, Kama Pizza, corner of Blue Jay and uh, Big Bear Boulevard. And it's a darn good spot from what I've heard. I haven't been there yet because I've been on a diet. All right, guys, sorry about that. I was just turning around just, just so you guys could see Kama Pizza. As I said, I've heard good things about it. It's on the corner of Big Red Boulevard and Blue Jay. I've driven by it, talking about it often, but I've never like really shown you guys. So this is Blue Jay Street. It goes into Boulder Bay, and that's Kama Pizza. Sweet. And again, my friend Augie works there. So if you see him, brighten his day. Say hello to Augie. And then last but not least, guys, don't forget, if you want to get your skis and snowboards waxed for free, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard and tell them you are friends of the channel and they will definitely take care of you. They also have stuff that I, I, I didn't know uh, some rental places have, which is clothing. Like your whole ski and snowboard get up for 25 bucks, so you don't have to spend 500 bucks on just a semi-decent outfit. You can rent it. <laughs> It's crazy. I wish they had that when I was younger. And again, don't forget, uh, Tony is the owner. So if you see him, just say hello. But the employees know that if you mention this channel, you'll get free, free waxing on your skis and snowboards. Oh, yeah. The road's getting pretty nasty. The road is nasty. With many a Yeah, very, very dangerous. Very dangerous, but I do this because I love you guys. And I will never stop doing this. If I take turns really fast, someday I might stop doing this. I'll be forced into stopping. But if I keep on respecting the road and Mother Nature, I should last a long time. And again, I try to ride closer towards the center until cars are coming and then move, pull back over. Just in case you lose control, you've got space on either side of the road to recover. Oh, it's so beautiful. so great in these conditions oh my gosh again i have snow tires though i think these ones are called arctic claw i can't remember the the uh the brand but they're arctic claw and then my other ones are sumitomo ice edge on my other car i've got to speed up the defroster for a little bit because my windshield wipers are starting to freeze a little bit. So we're nearing the snow. We're, well, we're in the snowiest part of this whole valley, guys. 
over by the Big Bear Dam. out here it's 33 degrees I'm hoping this turns into a hundred percent snow not 50 50 sleet and snow either way it's so gorgeous go highway 38 right alongside the beautiful snowy lake oh yeah guys it's just beautiful these first couple turns can uh, can really send you over the edge you know what I mean many more ways than one. So now that there's no cars coming, we're just gonna hog the road. any blind turns like this one you stay in your lane because of things like that I'm like white knuckling it right now. <laughs> I'm usually not this anxious. But it is what it is. Better be safe than sorry, right? Definitely starting to pick up over here. Hopefully I didn't miss your place, Cameron. Wow, I swear I thought I just saw some lightning above us.
Oh yeah. in time. Oh yeah, it's getting a little deeper over here. All right guys, I had to pull over real quick. And then look, there's this guy in his Harley. He was stuck in the middle of the street here. Just crazy, like, like what, what are you? He probably didn't didn't expect to get caught in the snow, but <clears throat> I gotta give him props. That's that's not an easy trick to pull to make it on the snow in your Harley. I used to drive my street bike once in a while in the snow up here when I didn't own any cars. That's how I got to Bear Mountain for work sometimes. In two or three, four inches of snow sometimes. I was going five miles an hour, ten miles an hour, but I'd get to work and people looked at me like like they were watching the twilight zone they just couldn't believe it some guys rolling up on a motorcycle it was hilarious but yeah i can't believe i just saw saw that dude on a harley right there just absolutely nuts i mean just nuts and my phone overheated also so that was one one reason we had to uh Give it a break for a minute. back on my defroster. Hopefully the phone doesn't overheat again. This is a phone I don't usually use to record. I left my other phone at home because I didn't expect the rain to 
change into uh, snow. It's, it's snowing now. This is all snow now. That's why you're not hearing the ta 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 like a machine gun on the car. Just phenomenal. Yeah, it's really coming down, guys. This is just wonderful. Our friend Conrad wanted me to drive with it zoomed in for a couple minutes. So cool. It's dumping right now, my gosh. trying to let me pass. Maybe not. Thought they were. I will always take it though. Yeah, see he's... Thank you. He just, he just waved to me. Awesome. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, guys, I mean, <laughs> drive as slow as you need to drive when you're up here in these conditions. It's, it's dangerous. And 
if someone's kind of on, on your tail a little bit, just let them pass. It's, it's not a competition like it is down the hill where you're not gonna let anyone pass or, or let them in your lane when you're trying to change lanes and stuff. Like, just let them pass and you'll get used to it. I let people pass all the time. It doesn't make me feel any less of a man. Snowflakes, my gosh. This little edge, I've, I've seen cars over the edge here. It's not a huge drop, but it's just, no one's gonna know that you're down there. That's the problem. Wow, it's already, few inches guys just since we've been driving around the lake that's pretty impressive that is pretty impressive wow 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 Sweet. Here we go, Stanfield cutoff. Guys, thanks again for watching. Thanks for cruising with me. I hope these videos do help. I know this is gonna help a lot of people who are planning on coming up tomorrow morning. Roads are pretty nasty. They're not gonna get any better tonight. I can guarantee you that unless we get more rain. It's the only possibility if we get more rain. Well, anyway, thanks again. Temperature is 33 degrees. It's 4.30 p.m. in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll see you on the live feeds. Peace out.